Beaverton is the largest electric school bus operator in the Pacific Northwest. Starting with a pair of electric buses in 2020, Beaverton has 20 on the roads right now with plans to expand to 80, about a quarter of its fleet in just a year. All those buses are going to be assigned to schools that serve our historically most underserved students. Transportation Administrator Craig Beaver is focused on both equity and the environment. We're really excited about that. We are going to eliminate emissions, bring the newest and most current technology to those students. With each electric bus added, Beaverton removes about 25 tons of CO2 per year. The buses are modern, they're peppy, and they're quiet. An expanding fleet means expanding charging needs met in large part with federal dollars and the PGE Electric School Bus Fund. It started from a DE, an Oregon DEQ program that helped kind of create a marketplace where we could create a kind of a revenue stream from our residential customers who create these, uh, these credits. PGE's Alicia Lawrence explains that those credits earned by customers who purchased electric vehicles are then sold to industries needing to pay for their excess emissions. And that money doesn't come out of customer rates. It's really what goes into funding these type of grants like electric school buses and other, other buses like that. EV sales are increasing. The result, a record year for the electric school bus fund. 2020 to last year, we were able to fund 30 buses. And then in this next year, it looks like we'll be, help, be able to help another 20 buses. Two of those buses are headed to Corbett. How many buses does the Corbett district use right now? Uh, 11. The PGE grant is helping even the smallest of districts go big on electric. And while they'll keep two diesel buses for extended trips in the short term. The plan is the rest of them will be EV within the next 10 years. That is amazing. Okay, so Superintendent Filkovich tells me that additional work nearly completed will offer free public access to level two charging. That's great for filling in the gaps for public charging between Troutdale and Multnomah Falls. Meanwhile, Beaverton, Beaverton has plans to go really big. They want to build a solar roof over both of their bus depots to generate power and store it locally in batteries on site to power their EV fleet. PGE's Electric School Bus Fund helps with these plans. They start accepting applications in the fall, announcing the recipients each spring.